again, you. When last we left our heroes, they'd just beaten up a teddy bear in a town full of toys. Okay, that doesn't sound that exciting, but, uh, but this time, though, they're in for a real doozy, cuz, uh, cuz it's cold. Ah, jeez, even Gomamon could handle that. It's cold. I can't handle it. Well, they're screwed. Guess this is the series finale, folks. While you guys see what unfolds, I'll go look through the classifieds to find a new job. This is great! I've never had to battle the cold before. It's a stable. Can you step... Can you step the cold? Like, the concept of coldness? Yeah, 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 yeah. Winter exists. How have you never experienced this? My parents kept me inside a lot ever since I figured out how to make makeshift flamethrowers. The grass on the soccer field never did grow back right. How can you be excited for this? None of us have a winter regalia. Is regalia nerd for clothes? Let's see, we'll need to craft jackets, boots, and trousers. Oh good, most of us already have mittens. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> he called pants trousers. As long as it doesn't get any colder than this, I think we'll be fine. This is not fine! Most of our Digimon are either avian, reptilian, or sentient plant. Maybe two of them are warm-blooded? We should look for shelter as soon as possible. We're fine! Agamon will just breathe hard and start a campfire. With what wood? Everything's completely saturated. We don't even have any resources to dry and store logs for. Look, smoke. Oh, come on! Aha! See? It was steam. The molten mud. Not smoke. I was right. Yeah, but we're not cold anymore, so what's the point? I, uh, fail. But still, we're nearly out of food, and there's not exactly a grocery store around here. Hey, look, a fridge! You're kidding me. Huh? Yay, fridge! Jeez, Joe, you should try being right for once. Like me, I'm right all the time. I hate this place. I hate it. All right, gang, let's see what we've got. Eggs. Eggs. Ooh, eggs. Uh, cool. We got eggs. Let's see. Guys, hold on. Ugh, what? What do you want, Joe? The fridge isn't plugged in. The eggs could have expired. We have no idea if those eggs belong to anyone. And we have no idea what kind of creature these eggs came from. Well, they're too small to be Digimon eggs. I'm sorry. They're too small to be... What? I'll unpack that later when we're not hungry. I swear to you all, here and now, if we eat these mystery eggs, the consequences could be dire. Dire, I say! So, back me up here. I sure am excited for these consequence-free eggs. Beamon, come on. There's no reason to rub it in like that. We found firewood! It was super easy. Not like Joe said it would be. Not like Joe said it would be. <sighs> How was I supposed to know that there was a hot spring with a fully stocked fridge right next door to the Arctic Tundra? This place doesn't make any sense. And now I'm the only one that cares. Finally! A meal that doesn't stink like backpack! What's wrong, Joe? You've barely touched your eggs of unknown origin. Oh, I was just thinking of home. Science side up is how my mom makes eggs in the morning. I wonder if I'll ever see her again. You're not special, Joe! All of us miss our parents! Speak for yourself. Well, now I'm depressed. Thanks, Joe. But the sad thoughts are back. Joe, you made my brother sad. Which makes me angry. And that's gonna get you hurt. Don't take your lack of emotional intelligence out on me, man. That's what therapists are for. Look, I know Joe went too far there. Matt threatened my safety and well-being. Are we not going to talk about this? But let's look on the bright side. We have food and shelter for the night. And we're in a safe enough spot to figure out where to go next. Good point, Sora. Yeah, Sora! 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 I still think we should stay put. Oh, what's the point? No one's going to listen to me. <laughs> now you're catching on. Well, maybe they won't start bickering if I'm not there to pull aggro. You want to say that to my face, pretty boy? I've been saying it to your face this whole time, Ty. You want me to spell it out for you, too? Oh, no, what happened? They saw a mountain, and now they both have opinions. The worst possible scenario. Truly, it was only a matter of time. You can't keep screaming, I'm the leader, I'm the leader, and think people will take you seriously when you throw us into danger every time. 
What are you implying? I'm saying that you're a terrible leader. What I'm implying is also that I hate you. So I get the feeling you're mad at me, but reading between the lines, I can tell you're sorry. And I accept your apology. So what are they arguing about? Whether or not to climb Infinity Mountain. That's the name of the mountain? Yup. Legend has it it's unclimbable. So it can't be scaled? No, you can't do that either. Rock, paper, scissors, Matt. Whoever chooses rock climbs a mountain. Plan your strategy well, for I know my opening move. That is exactly the kind of nonsense that's gonna get us all killed. And jumping in without a plan, as usual, is suicide. Matt does have a point, Ty. See, Matt? Joe agrees with you. That's how you know you're wrong. Although, if we get to the peak, we can survey the entire area from up there. Maybe figure out where the heck we are. You wanna keep wandering around aimlessly? I know I don't. You made adventure sound lame, Joe. I'm saying you both have good points. But which point is Better, Joe! Mine! Obviously! Fight me! You know what, Ty? I just might! Uh, None of you cut it out! Ties! It is way too late for this sort of craziness! You're all too riled up about this! Besides, you're frightening the Digimon! I saw a side of you I never thought I would see, Ty! Matt's pretty par for the course, but I still don't like it. We can discuss the mountain in the morning! Come on! I'm going! Did everyone make sure to delouse the duds before going to bed? I know there's no bed, but there could still be bed bugs. Okay, they would have yelled at me by now. They're asleep. Come on! Come on, where are you? Psst! Over here! Where exactly did you get a trench coat and fedora? You're asking too many questions, Joe. Questions you don't want the answers to. The wrong question, Slick. I'm calling you Slick now. Oh god, are you back on your dragon breath kick again? I have information. Information you may find... informative. Gomamon, you asked me to meet you out here in the dead of night, no less. Could you please get to the point? Let me tell you about a unicorn. I'm going back to bed. Now hold on there, Slick. If that is your real name, there's a wise elder Digimon on Infinity Mountain. Goes by Unimon. You wanna know how rough it gets there? Infinity Mountain's his turf, see? He'll give you the skinny on the down low, Slick. Why do we have to meet secretly for this? You could've just told me this earlier when you told me to meet you here. I can't afford to be seen with you. It'll ruin my reputation. I'm a tough guy around here. Alright, I guess I'll go. Wait, you're just gonna leave me alone on Infinity Mountain? <sighs> you wanna come with? You're not as dumb as you look, Slick. You'd never last a second on Infinity Mountain without old Goma, man. I'm not gonna make it the rest of the way. This is the end for me, Joe. Tell my story. Accurately? No. Embellish it greatly. I want something really cool. You're being overdramatic. How much farther could Unimon possibly be? It's called Infinity Mountain for a reason, Joe. And that reason is... Only Unimon knows. I guess we'll add that to the list of questions, then. Right after, how dangerous is the mountain, and how do we get home? How come only you get to ask the questions? Only Unimon knows. Well, then you'll have to ask him about that when we get there. As I am forbidden. What's going on? Mountain shaking. You don't stay! Black Gears? If those are the same Black Gears from before, then every Digimon on this mountain could be a threat. I don't think we need Unimon's help to know if this mountain's dangerous or not. We should head back down. Wait, that heavenly chorus. That can only be Unimon! I didn't make him up after all! I'm sorry, that last part was ever in question? Just uh, speaking of questions, look, it's Unimon! Oh dang, they lived! That's cool. I'm out 40 bucks in a porcelain jeep. Anyway, this guy here is Unimon. Some say he's a wise sage, and those people are named Gomamon. The only thing we do know about him is that he looks like if Cyclops from the X-Men got turned into the most special original character in My Little Pony. It's him! Unimon himself! The gentlest Digimon! He would even hurt a Flymon! Excuse me, Unimon? How dangerous is the mountain and why is it made of gears that are also made of evil? Also, can we go home? I would like to go home. Joe, do you hear putting danger? No, do you? Hey, Unimon, have a sudden argument. Do you hear- <laughs> Guess he didn't hear it. Gomamon, we are in peril. Yes, and we should run immediately. Please carry me. I can only waddle.
He's too fast! We're not gonna make it out of here! Maybe he's still a friendly sage deep down. Unimon, what wisdom will you share with us weary travelers? Unhinge your jaw and manifest a marble! Got any more bright ideas? Unless this is a jumping cliff, we're out of luck. Ow. Any final words, Joe? With my record, it's probably best I say nothing. You know, stop on behind. Well, I've prepared a monologue. <laughs> We're saved! What the hell, Joe? Joe, are you okay? Thanks to you guys! Then what the hell are you thinking? Marble! Finally! Mogamon, do your thing. Agumon! Did you want to? I'm gonna get you! Raymon, this is somehow not working. Where could we have gone wrong? Don't worry, I'm gonna try to do the same thing again! Ah! Oh no, the smart people are at the bottom of the mountain while the dumb ones are caught in a stupid loop. Don't worry, I'm gonna try to do the same thing again. Ah! Oh damn you! Ugh. Come on, looks like it's up to us. What am I gonna do, summon fish? Do you see any lakes around here, Joe? Cause I sure don't. So, then it's... It's up to me. Wait, what? Remember me as I was, Gumamon. Cause I don't know what I'm gonna look like after this. Huh? Joe, what are you doing? Come on, you nonsensical piece of machinery! Dodge! <laughs> Joe, it's us! I'm not renowned for my combat prowess. And of the two of us, I'm the strong one! Get down from there before you get hurt! But then he might hurt you! Or friends! I know I'm not the strongest or the bravest, but I have to try something! If I don't, who will? Yo! Stay back, Gomamon! I got the- ah! Yo! Gomamon! Digimon! Two! Ikakuma! Don't worry, Joe. I got your back. Gomamon? Joe, it's Ikakumon now. Marble! Or Poon Torpedo! No good. He's still too fast. Wait for it. <laughs> you did it, Ikakumon! Way to send him packing! You okay, Ty? I sure would be better if your horn turned into this mess! I guess we can head back down now. The rest of the mountain's probably swarming with danger. Not for long. Wait, what does that mean? Harpoon Torpedo! I'm sure there won't be any negative repercussions later. And that is why your actions were dangerous and reckless, Joe! I'm gonna have to keep you at arm's length like I do with Ty. Well, I for one am proud of you. Joe, you and I are members of a special club. We're the only ones who have the guts to take on a Digimon on our own terms. What about Mimi? Mimi has a gun, doesn't count. Don't tell her I said that though, she has a gun. Well, I was slapping them to get to this point, so I might as well see it through to the end. Who wants to go to the top of Infinity Mountain with me? I'm with you, Slick. His name's Slick now, tell everyone. Just this once, Slick. You have honorary leader privileges. Just... just don't tell anyone. They wouldn't believe me! Now we might not be anywhere near Tokyo, but we might still be in Kanto. With any luck, we could... Guys? I don't think we're in Japan anymore. Of course you're not, stupid! You've been fighting monsters for four days! Although Japan does have kaiju. Are kaiju real?
Hey, mister, are kaiju real? And if they are, is Great Babe one of them? I want to know. Oh, my God. Hey, careful with that screaming. I'm recording in here. Why are you recording in a bathroom? You're a bathroom. Why are you naked? You're a naked. That was meaner than I meant it to be. Would you like an apology hug? Ah! Get away from me! Oh, we got a runner. I gotta go catch that guy. What, for the hug? But I'll see you guys next time on Digimon Abridged! <laughs> You're not getting away. My nudity only makes me faster! Hi, everyone. I'm Storm Sage, one of the vows for Digimon Abridged and the voice of Joe. If you liked this episode, check out our previous ones and subscribe for more to come. If you want to see these episodes early, you can go support us on Patreon. Check out the Schmuck Squad and the Schmuckers channel for more content, and follow us on Twitter for updates. Now if you excuse me, I'm off to go kidnap the rest of the team to get to work on the next episode.